In a groundbreaking study, new research indicates that we have vastly underestimated the size of Betelgeuse and its evolution timeline. Recent observations have led researchers to conclude that Betelgeuse is on the brink of exploding, and this could happen within a few decades, rather than hundreds of thousands of years. This revelation carries significant implications because Betelgeuse is located approximately 650 light years away from us, meaning that what we perceive now is actually how the star appeared 650 years ago. If the study's findings are accurate, it suggests that Betelgeuse has likely already gone supernova, and we might have the extraordinary fortune of witnessing this awe-inspiring event in our lifetime. But how did scientists arrive at this intriguing conclusion? What evidence supports their idea? And most importantly, what would occur if the light from Betelgeuse's supernova reaches us while we are still here? Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star nestled on the shoulder of Orion, resides around 200 parsecs or 650 light years away from our planet. Astronomers have discovered that we were mistaken about the star's size and evolution timeline by studying its fundamental and overtone modes of pulsations. To put it simply, stars are not static points of light, many of them pulsate, continuously expanding and contracting, similar to how our hearts beat. This pulsation occurs due to the ongoing interplay between gravity, which tries to crush the star, and the resistance from nuclear fusion energy and gas pressure. The fundamental mode of pulsation is the simplest way a star can pulsate, comparable to the basic heartbeat of a star where the entire star expands and contracts together. It's like jumping straight up and down on a trampoline, causing the whole surface to move in unison. On the other hand, overtones, also known as harmonics, involve different parts of the star expanding and contracting at different times, creating complex patterns of waves akin to people bouncing in different spots on a trampoline. By studying the periods of these pulsations, astronomers can model the conditions inside the star, gaining insights into its behavior. Over the centuries, astronomers have closely observed Betelgeuse, noticing its semi-regular variations with approximately four periods, 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Initially, scientists believed that the 420-day pulsation cycle was the fundamental mode, with the shorter cycles serving as overtones. The 220-day cycle was considered a long secondary pulse of unknown origin. However, in a research paper by Sayo and colleagues, they presented evidence suggesting that the 2200-day cycle is, in fact, the fundamental mode, while the other three are overtones. This discovery unveils that Betelgeuse is far larger than our previous estimates, spanning over 1200 times the size of our Sun and extending well beyond Jupiter's orbit. This revelation reshapes our understanding of the star and its internal processes. According to this new research, Betelgeuse has nearly depleted all its carbon and is on the verge of undergoing a supernova. Throughout its main sequence phase, a star spends around 90% of its life converting hydrogen into helium in its core. Betelgeuse, being its size, spends approximately 10 to 12 million years fiercely burning nuclear fuel in its core at a temperature of around 15 million Kelvin. As it exhausts its hydrogen supply, it enters the red giant phase, where the core contracts under gravity, heating up, while the outer layer expands and cools, giving the star its reddish hue. When the core temperature reaches approximately 100 million Kelvin, helium starts fusing into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Over time, the core becomes an onion-like structure composed of various elements, with the heaviest at the center and lighter ones in the surrounding shell. However, once the core temperature becomes high enough, carbon and oxygen fuse into heavier elements up to iron. At this critical juncture, iron does not release energy when fused, instead, it absorbs energy, rendering the core unstable and marking the star's imminent demise. A star the size of Betelgeuse would take roughly 1,000 years to fuse carbon into heavier elements in its core. Determining the exact amount of carbon remaining in the star's core at this stage poses challenges. Nevertheless, by studying Betelgeuse's pulsations and brightness, scientists have determined that it only possesses between 0.48% to 17% of carbon in its core. This indicates that Betelgeuse has already consumed a significant portion of its carbon and has only a few decades left before it erupts into a supernova. In real time, the explosion may have already transpired since Betelgeuse's brightness experienced a surge of over 50% above its typical luminosity after the notable dimming event of 2020. The star has also lost its 420-day pulsation cycle, a characteristic it exhibited for several centuries. These phenomena further substantiate that unusual events have been unfolding on the star. The last time humanity had the opportunity to witness a supernova with the naked eye in our own galaxy was way back in 1604, known as the Kepler supernova. With the revised timeline for Betelgeuse's explosion, 
there is now a glimmer of hope that we may witness this extraordinary cosmic spectacle in our lifetime, a genuinely thrilling prospect. The reason why everyone is eagerly anticipating the Beetlejuice supernova is because it will be an event of epic proportions. When Beetlejuice finally explodes, its brightness will dramatically intensify, potentially surpassing that of the moon and becoming visible even during daylight. This incredible luminosity, though awe-inspiring, will gradually diminish after a few weeks, yet it might remain observable to the naked eye for an extended period, possibly over a year. Fortunately, the significant distance between Betelgeuse and Earth ensures that our planet will not suffer any adverse side effects from the explosion. The vast expanse of space will dilute the impact of the supernova, shielding us from harmful radiation. Supernovae of this magnitude are rare and precious events within our galaxy, providing invaluable insights to scientists about stellar life and death, the intricate physics behind these cataclysmic events, and the distribution of elements throughout the universe. Supernovae act as cosmic factories, producing heavy elements like gold and platinum, thus witnessing this process up close is an extraordinary opportunity for researchers. After the supernova, Betelgeuse's core will still exist, but it will have undergone a transformation. It may become a neutron star or possibly collapse into a black hole. Viewing the remnants of Betelgeuse from our distant vantage point on Earth might be challenging, but with advancements in technology, it is not an impossible feat. Recently, astronomers even spotted the largest explosion in the universe, an event so energetic that no physics phenomenon has been able to explain it thus far. So, while seeing the remains of Betelgeuse may pose difficulties, it remains within the realm of possibility. Don't miss this episode, and make sure to catch up on the thrilling discovery of the largest explosion in the universe. This exciting opportunity to witness the grandeur of a supernova in our very own lifetime fills us with anticipation for the extraordinary wonders of the cosmos.